Hey everyone, I'm Laurentio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Prince of Persia games for the 360 and PS3. Also, keep in mind that I'm focusing on the games specifically made for the consoles, meaning that the games that came out on the console that were released and not backports or games that you can play due to backwards compatibility. Okay, the first one to talk about is Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands. Which is not a movie tying game, as some people believe, even if Dastan looks really close to Jack Gyllenhaal. Actually, the game is a new entry set between the sands of time and warrior within. And the gameplay is the usual awesome one. You fight waves of enemies, parkour, and you control time. And this is not the only thing you'll do. The combat gets progressively more and more interesting, the more powers you unlock. You can give a trail of fire behind you, or even make a tornado that hits enemies. And the platforming gets also progressively more and more elaborate and creative, making you use your time abilities in different ways. Though beware that the controls are like in Assassin's Creed. Remember in Assassin's Creed when you wanted to grab a ledge and the character jumped off the building. You'll encounter that stuff here too. And the story isn't memorable. And I can tell you that by the fact that after playing the game years ago, I can barely remember the plot of the game. But don't let that hinder you to enjoy the game. It's fantastic. It's engaging like any Prince of Persia game. You should try the game out. But I have to warn you that the game has a lot of bugs, even game breaking bugs. The first time I tried the game 10 years ago, at some point I died and got respawned from a point I couldn't progress anymore in the game, so I left the game and tried it on another console. I tried it on the 360. And here the game wasn't buggy, I mean I haven't stumbled upon a bug. I first tried the game on PC, but it seems on the internet that bugs do appear on all of the versions. So beware that the game is buggy. Bugs don't appear that frequent, but you do can encounter some bugs. And the Prince of Persia reboot is a different take on Prince of Persia. This game doesn't take part in the trilogy arc. It's a different prince. And the gameplay is different too. Parkour is different, now you get claws and use them in different ways. And one thing that turned me down and other people was the combat. You fight one on one, and the prince doesn't have that many moves, nor can you unlock more moves, which turns combat into a tedious stuff, saying to yourself, oh no, not an enemy again, ah, here we go again. But on the plus side, the visuals are stunning, the game looks like a watercolor painting. You can use Elika to solve puzzles and platform, and she saves you if you make a wrong jump. Overall, even if I didn't like the combat, everything else in the game was fantastic. I recommend you try this game too, it's solid. Overall, both games are amazing, and are really close to being masterpieces. I've pointed out some flaws because it's a critic review, I have to say the good and the bad, but don't let the bad discourage you. You will have a lot of fun in these two games. They are really good games you should definitely check out. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.